awesome grade 9 learners! Welcome back to Polatians TV! Are you ready for another fruitful day of new learning experiences in English? We're happy to hear that from you! I am your teacher on screen, Mrs. Anajin J. Abu. And together, let us learn and enjoy while in the comfort of our homes. For our target objectives, first, we are going to determine whether the ideas presented are real news or fake news. Second, define author's reasoning. Third, point out author's reason to support his or her ideas. And lastly, apply learning through differentiated activities. Social media play a very important role in today's life. There are web-based online tools that enable people to discover and learn new information, share ideas, interact with new people and organization. They have changed the way people live their lives today. They have made communication much easier. Social media are an almost unavoidable part of our society now. But can they be a trusted news source? Let us have an activity. I want you to prepare a piece of paper and a pen where you can write your answer. In this activity, decide whether the pieces of information are real news or fake news. Write the word real if the information presented is authentic and write the word fake if it is not. Let us have the first information. The Philippines has been called the social media capital of the world as millions of Filipinos spend an average of almost 4 hours a day on social media sites. What can you say about the statement? Is it real or fake? The statement is real. Did you get the correct answer? Very good! Here is the evidence to prove that the statement is real. According to 2021 Global Digital Report conducted by creative agency We Are Social and Social Media Management Platform, that Filipinos are still the world's biggest consumers of social media, spending an average of 4 hours and 15 minutes per day using social platforms. Let us move to the next information. An audio clip about the complete lockdown of the country in light of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic is being shared widely. Listen to the audio clip and decide whether it is real or fake. Everybody please listen. Just in case lang, if you have time tomorrow uh, to go out, magsta kayo ng food okay in case mag-announce si Duterte ng martial law ng total lockdown or martial law kundi Monday Tuesday what can you say about the audio clip is it real or fake The audio clip is fake. Did you get the correct answer? Very good. Here is the statement of spokesman under Secretary Jonathan Malaya about the circulating audio clip. According to the Department of the Interior and Local Government spokesman under Secretary Jonathan Malaya, that the circulating audio clip stating that the national government will impose a total lockdown as a preventive measure against the spread of coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 is a fake news. Let us move to the next information. The Manny Pacquiao Balato Facebook post. In the said post, Manny Pacquiao will be giving away cash, vehicles, and house and lots to lucky social media users. What can you say about the Facebook posts? Are they real or fake?
the Facebook posts are fake? Did you get the correct answer? Very good! Here is Manny Pacquiao's statement after a post made by Facebook pages. And take note of the ways to identify authentic pages. Unang una, wala pa akong uh, pinopromote dyan sa social media na mamimigay ng bahay. Okay. Pangalawa, wala rin akong pinopromote dyan sa social media na na mamimigay ako ng motor. Kung titinan ng account ni Manny Pacman Pacquiao na nagpo-post ng fake raffle, makikita ng July 16 at exactly 10 p.m. ang kauna-aun ng post ito, which was yung picture ng pambansang kamao. Now this is the real account of Senator Manny Pacquiao with almost 12 million followers. Here's a tip guys, if you see a blue badge on a page or profile of a public figure, media company, or brand, that means Facebook has confirmed its authenticity. Pero keep in mind that not all celebrities and brands have blue badges. So you look for the blue badge most of the times, okay? Kapag may nakita ka naman na gray badge on a page, it means that Facebook has confirmed that this is an authentic page for business or organization. Did you get all the answers correct? Well done! If not, it's okay. Many things you see and hear in people, TV, music, internet, or in your environment present points to you. If you don't carefully examine the reasons that support someone's beliefs or points, you might end up believing a lie. Fake news on social media may be unavoidable, but you can help stop the spread by thinking critically. Maintain a healthy level of curiosity for what you read on your feed. Understand how social media platforms curate what you see. And use investigative practices often. Social media is a powerful tool for individuals when approached with appropriate intent and consideration. In this connection, today, we are going to judge the relevance on word, soundness of author's reasoning, and the effectiveness of the presentation. Authors of informational texts present their ideas and support them with specific reasons and evidence to convince the reader. But, readers also question authors' reasoning. Readers should not assume that everything in an informational text is true. What is author's reasoning? Why is it important? How do you answer questions about author's reasoning? And how do you figure out author's reasoning? Author's reasoning refers to why the author chose to make the text the way she or he did. Each choice an author makes is used to create some kind of an effect. What do reasons do? It explains how or why, show importance, show cause and effect, describe more, and share examples. Let us have an example for you to understand what I'm saying. Games and equipment from home should not be allowed in school grants. Oftentimes, students feel that they shouldn't have to share items they brought from home, which can result in jealousy and fighting. In addition, many students haven't been taught safety rules with certain types of equipment, which can result in hurting others. Also, some items such as board games can take a lot of time to set up and clean up. This can make them impractical for recess time. The author's point in this statement is, Games and equipment from home should not be allowed in school grounds. And the author's reasons are, first, there will be jealousy and fighting. Second, safety rules were not taught. And third, setting up and cleaning up will consume time. Does the author's point well supported with reasons? The answer is yes. The author's point is well supported with reasons. Let us have the next example. 
Games and equipment from home should be allowed in school because they are fun. Students enjoy playing their own games from home with their friends. The author's point in this statement is, Games and equipment from home should be allowed in school. The author's reasons are, First, it is fun. Second, it is enjoyable playing games from home with your friends. Does the author's point well supported with reasons? The answer is no. The author's point is not well supported with reasons. It is very important to point out and understand author's reasoning in a text to improve your analytical skills. Sometimes, we bring our own opinion to the text as a reader, which can be good and valuable. But it could also blind us to what the author might be saying about it. So be open-minded about what beliefs or purpose the author is trying to convey through this text. You don't have to agree with the author to understand where they're coming from. Let us have an activity to find out your understanding about the lesson. In this activity, you are going to decide whether the following statements are well supported or not well supported with author's reasons. Write only the letter that corresponds to your answer. Let's have the first one. Recycling is beneficial because it helps protect the earth. It helps us turn our old products into new products. It reduces the amount of trash in our landfills. As a result, it reduces air pollution. The author's point in this statement is, Recycling is beneficial, and the author's reasons are, First, helps protect the earth. Second, helps turn our old products into new products. Third, reduces the amount of trash in our landfills. And lastly, reduces air pollution. Is the author's point well supported with reasons or not? The author's point is well supported with reasons. Did you get the correct answer? Amazing! Let us have the next statement. Why travel to Aruba? You should travel to Aruba because it is awesome. People love going to an island paradise. The author's point in the statement is you should travel to Aruba. The author's reasons are First, it is awesome. Second, people love going to an island paradise. Is the author's point well supported with reasons or not? The author's point in the statement is not well supported with reasons. Did you get the correct answer? Amazing! Let us have the next statement. Kids need to exercise. Physical activity helps build and keep strong bones and muscles. It also can make you sleep better. It can also help improve your motor coordination. The author's point in the statement is, Kids need to exercise. And the author's reasons are, First, exercise helps build and keep strong bones and muscles. Second, makes you sleep better. Third, improves your motor coordination. Is the author's point well supported with reasons? Or not? The author's point is well supported with reasons. Did you get the correct answer? Amazing! Let us have the next statement. 
Before you light the end of the cigarette, stop and think. Do you want to be one of those people who smells like an ashtray? So listen right now before you start. Smoking causes heart disease, lung cancer, and other atrocious disease. It can even shorten your life up to 20 years. If you don't care about health issues, think about your appearance. Smokers have yellow teeth, black lungs, and smell horrible. Why would you want to smoke? Put out the cigarette and take a breath of fresh air. The author's point in the statement is, you should not smoke. And the author's reasons are, first, smoking will make you smell like an ashtray. Second, smoking causes heart disease, lung cancer, and other diseases. And lastly, smoking will harm your appearance. Is the author's point well supported with reasons or not? The author's point is well supported with reasons. Did you get all the answers correct? Well done! If not, it's okay. Always remember as you read the text, analyze the details and think what the main point or claim of the author about the topic. Point out what reasons does the author give to support his or her ideas. For your reflection, complete the following statements in your journal notebook. Write what you understand and realize about the lesson. Make sure to share your answer to your teacher and to your classmates. I hope you enjoy our lesson today. Keep safe everybody. Thank you for watching.